Hey everyone, today we're going to review Lego Indiana Jones Motorcycle Chase, set number 7620. This is a vintage review because this set came out in, let's see, and look it up real quick. Looks like, ah, when did it come out? 2009, maybe? I'm not seeing it. Uh, new release 2008. 2008 is when this set came out. It's a very small set. It retailed for 10 bucks when it first came out. Has about 80 pieces. A little bit more if you count the extras. And it comes with two motorcycles. See the bad guy and Indiana Jones motorcycle. And Indy's motorcycle has the sidecar. That's pretty cool. Uh, the structure is pretty, pretty lame. It's just this little guard house with a gate that goes up and down. The gate is just attached with a little, little clip. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. You can see it's pretty much like a little movie set guard shack because it's got the front built out, but the back is empty. You've got two boxes here that are empty. They just have lids. So it's just entourage. And then you've got this little bitty flag. So what the flag is for, I don't know. It's like, stop! Stop! That's really going to stop them. It's not. Um, <clears throat> the flag is attached to this little disc. You can see the, the pin here goes, goes through the hole on the disc. And if you stick it all the way through, let me see, but it, it kind of sticks out the bottom. And when you try to put it on the ground, it falls over. So you can't put this little white bar all the way through. It has to be sticking up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see right there, there's a little, little gap there. And now it stands up straight. Small annoyance, no big deal. Let's look at the minifigures. We will start with our hero, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. This is a cool little figure. He is single printed head. He has his little side pack and a revolver. The printing on the torso and the legs is pretty outstanding can't complain about it at all it is only printed on the front you see on the back there's nothing and on the sides there's nothing it, it's not until the recent the sets gun? here in the, What's that the gun, What's that the, gun? The, the gun is not printed there's no printing on it no, the, no, the printing on the side. No, there's no printing on the gun. No, 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 no. On the side, there's the gun. No, no, no. I'm talking about his body. Ooh. See his body? See his clothes? Mm -hmm. All that decoration, that's all printed on. So that's Indy. He has his, <clears throat> his little whip back here attached whoop, to the, whoop, whoop. the sidecar of the motorcycle. Whoop. And then the second figure who is sitting in the sidecar is Henry Jones Sr. with his dark bluish gray helmet. He is also single printed face. He has a gray beard. It's really hard to see. So it yeah, blends in real well with the flesh colored head um, but it's there I wish that was a little bit more defined um, oh, could probably put the the little Santa beard or some of the other beard pieces oh, oh, that come oh. with a lot of the the oh, minifigures oh, now oh, put that on there and he'll look a little more appropriate he's holding holding a map there's the map and he is printed only on his torso the printing is pretty good on this one with the exception of his, his little bow tie. 
a green on there. Looks like it's offset a little bit. It's not printed right where it should be. But overall, it's a pretty cool print. You can see he's got his little notebook hanging out of his, his jacket pocket. So he's the second minifigure. So you know this set was ten bucks, so you were pretty much were just buying the minifigures. It's the only thing you you were really getting. The motorcycle is cool too. The these little bikes are, you know, Captain America esque. This is what you see in the uh, the original Captain America movie. It was a disappointment when the Captain America movie or or Lego set came out and he was riding some goofy little oversized bike. They should have just put Captain America on this thing. So this is a German soldier. He's wearing his uh, bike helmet with his glasses, his wind glasses. Pretty basic little face, no nose, flesh colored face. Um, just kind of has a little single line smirk. Uh, printing on the torso only. He's basically just wearing a button-up shirt with a ammo ammo belt on. The ammo belt looks like he's carrying cartridges for a, a semi-automatic pistol, yet he's holding a revolver. So, kind of weird there. <clears throat> Nothing real fancy about the soldier. Um, you know, it's cool having the flesh colored. You only see those in the, the license sets. It, he does look a little goofy without a nose. I will give you that much. He needs a little nose or something. This one doesn't have a nose. Yeah, the, uh, most of them don't put noses on them. But the way they decorate everything else, you can get away with it. Like, like his glasses kind of shape the form of where the nose would be. Yeah. So even though he doesn't have a nose printed, you could still imagine there being a nose there. Mm -hmm. Whereas this guy, he looks like something's missing. A nose. You know, it's kind of the same with like ears. They don't have ears, but their helmet hits in the right spot where their ears should be and it looks right. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Indiana Jones Motorcycle Chase from 2009, 2008, sorry. I don't think we'll be dropping this one. There's really nothing to drop other than this little bitty thing in the motorcycle. And really the only thing that could happen is, you know, this front brick will come off. Or the little backpack thing here on the back will come off. But if you guys want to see me drop it, we'll drop it for you. Just leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe and like us. See look, I just set it down, it's already falling apart. But no drop on this one, unless you really want it. We'll do what the people want. Hey, where's uh, where's Sir Indy? Sir Jones here. Senior Jones. Here we go. Oh, he's bald. Alright, that's it. That's our little review. See you next time.